In this video, you will learn how to build a simple AI research agent using Anytime, OpenAI and Perplexity, all without writing a single line of code. And when you have it up fully set up, you can just go ahead and watch cat videos on YouTube while this workflow does the work for you. To start up this workflow, just click on Execute Workflow here. A pop-up form comes up that says AI Research Engine. You have a topic, so let's say, let's say Coinbase, and we want it to focus on the competitors. Right, so you click on submit and that triggers this workflow. This graphs date and time, sets particular field. I'll go deeper in a bit. But what happens here is that this research AI agent basically gets that information from the form, sends it to the brain. The brain understands what you're talking about, then sends it to this perplexity research tool. This perplexity research tool is going to do a very deep research. And once that is done, it's going to send it back to this brain, which is basically OpenAI LLM. It's going to summarize the result that it gets from this research tool. Then it's just going to update this sheet here that is going to allow us to have the date you submitted, the topic, the focus, and the result of the research. So now the research is done, it has sent it back to OpenAI. Um, which is acting as the brain basically to summarize that information and then it's going to update the research now it's submitting the research as you can see here we open up this research now we can see this is the topic we submit this is the dates it was submitted the topic coinbase the focus was competitors and it did a very deep research what coinbase is all about coinbase is a leading cryptocurrency exchange it brought out some key facts and insights talked about um, the market position and their competitors now let's jump right in and i can show you exactly how this workflow works so the first thing you're going to do in this workflow is a form submission node. This form submission node allows you to interact with the workflow using a form. So the title of the form here is AI Research Engine. There is no authentication, so you don't need authentication to access this. It accepts the topic as the field name. Element type is the text. The required is this is a required field, right? There is also another field which is the focus, which is like this is where I want you to concentrate, right? And also this is not required, so you can actually just give it a topic and make the course optional. You can see here it has Coinbase competitors the day it was submitted. So the next node is basically because of the way the time is formatted, it's not really user friendly. So what this is basically doing is take, take that time that NHN is giving to us and we want to format it in this better user friendly format, right? So it can come out like this showing our uh, minutes and seconds, right? That's, that is better for us. So that's just what this node is doing here. This set field is just to aggregate everything. Right, to be able to say, okay, the, the dates, you drag and drop. This is what the date is. This is the topic. This is the focus. It just wants to bring all that data together and we ensure that we have a very clean output, which is the date, the topic, and the competitors here. So once that is received, the first thing that's going to receive it is the next node, which is the AI agent node. What this AI agent node is basically going to do is that it's going to accept the topic and the focus. You can see under the prompt user message, I've given it a topic. And to add this, this is just a simple drag and drop. So you can hold it here and just drag it. That's exactly what I did here. So I'm telling it this is the topic, this is the focus, right? Then I added a system message that basically says, you're a research assistant, always use perplexity to gather information on the following topic. Um, if focus is provided, tell the research to address this specifically, right? So if there is the focus is optional, I, I, ne I needed my system message to know that, right? So I tell it, so this is where you can go in depth and tell it exactly how, how much of detail you want for, from this research. So because this is just a demo video, I just made sure that it's just three to five key points, any notable trends, challenges, or recent development. So this will not just give, this will not give you a very detailed research, but by playing around with this, you're going to get a much more detailed research than what um, this demo is showing you. You can see the output. This is the output. After doing the research, this is the output it got. But for this AI agent to work properly, it needed three things. The first one is the brain. Right, so if you open up this brain, this is basically open AI. So you get your open AI keys, add your cred. So you just say create new credentials, get your open AI keys and just dump it there. I've already done that. So open AI cred is already here. And you don't need to add any other thing, right? Then the next step is to add simple memory. Simple memory just does it for you, right? There are other types of memory you can add with any end, but this just does it for you. You're able to remember a context window. Then I also provide you with the key, right? Which is the key of this workflow for it to be able to run. The next thing is the research tool, which is, this is like, this is what does the heavy lifting. This is perplexity. For this to work, you need an API key. So this is your perplexity account. If you come to your API keys, you should be able to say, just create key. So I've added the API key, just a simple copy and paste here. And that gives you, and um, that stores the credentials for you in any end. 
then the two description sets automatically operation is message a model here this is where i'm telling you use the sonar deep research now the next thing is the message you want it to be defined automatically by the model so if i remove this right i'm able to define the message that it is going to receive or is going to process or is going to run the research on but here i'm telling it allow ai the ai agent allow the allow it to be automatically determined by the model right so the um the agent is going to determine the message that is going to submit for it to for it to work here one of the good options that you can see here is that you can say search recency filter so i can select oh search what the last day the last hour the last so if your research you want to limit it to the last month or the last hour the last day the last week you can definitely add this option and that is going to work now i usually like the simplify output because it gives you a cleaner output let me remove this it gives you a cleaner output as you can see you can see the citations it just basically did some deep research about 18 if you are adding zero that gives you about 19 citations you can see what the message is. um because we said defined automatically by the model so the model says research on coinbase and its competitors including key facts market position notable trends and challenges you can see this is what i told it from the prompt so depending on what you want depending on how you want your research to go this prompt is very important what i only told it was i gave it a topic which was coinbase and i gave it the competitors which is like what i needed to focus on then the prompt then said include key fact market position and notable trends of, of course that prompt is going to affect the kind of research complexity is going to do or the focus that research is going to take now once that research is complete the next thing is going to do here is that it's going to update that research into, into a google sheet so that you can always come back and see the output in a clean format i can go back here and i can say execute this workflow and it brings back the topic for me and let's say coinbase moots submit that and it's going to of course kick off this research it's going to submit um, all that information so if you give it a second it's going to research coinbase and its moot and it's going to give us the data here the research has been updated so if you come back to this sheet you're going to see okay um coinbase this time the modes key factors contributing to coinbase mode so it basically just gave us economic modes as i say it explained what a mode is then it basically went into what the the mood for coinbase is and it even went ahead to say these are the potential weakness in coinbase modes right so this is a very deep research right i will, I will suggest you try this out see how it works Thank you for watching this video. Kindly like, comment, so that YouTube can send this to others that are going to benefit from it. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.